Yes, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow beer friends, wonderful people. Anywhere you are watching from, I say welcome to this program. Even though I'm saying good evening, the evening is not good because our land is seriously under siege. Like I said before, that wherever you are watching us from, I want you to relax and enjoy this program, though it's not a program to be enjoyed. It's a program that is going to educate you, a program that is going to update you, a program that is going to keep you posted, a program that is going to touch light a whole lot of things that is happening, especially in Okibwe right now. I see the heart. I'm going to show you videos of what is happening this moment because last time when I did my last video, after that, my last video on this platform, I was blocked by Facebook. Yes, because a whole lot of things is happening on the ground. We are fighting our enemies. We are fighting the saboteurs among us, and we are still fighting those that are giving us this platform, which we are using to broadcast to the world. My name remember the Obaleze Chukubi came, and I am a Biafra, a Biafra of Igbo extraction. And I am your servant. I am here to serve you. I'm here to fight along with Mazen and the Kano until Biafra is restored. And I told you people that I see the heart, now so they bring up, give the hope to the whole world. We are fully prepared this time around to make sure that every information that is needed is sent out. What I understand about Facebook attack on us is that they do not want us to continuously show in all the gory pictures of our people that are massacred, our people that are butchered, our people that their head is being cut off. These are the things that we need to show the world through this platform, but Facebook is not allowing that. Once you, I show all those things that is happening, you know, those gory pictures, the people they cut off their head, the people they cut off their legs, the people they push out, they cut off their hands and everything. Once I show it, the next thing Facebook will come after me. And I do not know how we are going to manage to do this because these are the things that we need to show to the whole world for them to see how we are being killed, for them to see the reason why we are fighting back to restore our nation, the reason why we are fighting to have a Biafra nation that we shall that we can be free and we can be uh, we can have our freedom and nobody will be after us. And while we are fighting the enemies on the ground that is fighting us, the enemies from the government. Of the, of the country are the people fighting us right now. The military are fighting us at the same time, paving way for their for their foot soldier, which is the Boko Haram, the ISIS, the Iswap, and the uh, Fulani Hesmen fighting and killing our people. And the last time that I make a video about the shooting, you know, Maka, some people say that it was not true. I was lying. I was lying. I don't want to argue with anybody because any report I bring to you on this platform is truth and nothing but the truth. 
That is the, that is how it goes. So I make sure I bring uh, pictorial evidences and video evidence of whatever that I want to show you. And sometimes I may not be at the right um, location where I can be showing you all those videos as in a heart. Then if I speak about it without showing you video, people, some people will say that I'm, I'm lying. I never lie, and I will not lie to you, dear friends. I will always tell you the truth, irrespective of who is concerned and how painful it is. That is why the name of this program is called As in the Heart, now so with a token. Right now, my brothers and my sisters, before I go further, I want to show you a video that you need to see. Once you are done listening and watching that video, I will give you a critical analysis, the reason why what is happening to us is happening right now. I'm going to explain that to you. And I have so many videos to show you. I have so many videos to show you this evening. So wherever you are watching us from, I want you to just, I want you to just calm down. Relax. Okay? Calm down and relax. For you are going to see everything that you need to see. You are going to understand the reason why we are here. Because every time they kill us, we make sure we get it documented. Every time they harm us, we make sure we keep it documented. But our major problem is that Facebook is not allowing us to keep bringing to you, to the world, how they are killing our people and what they have been doing to us. And this has been a very big challenge to us. So I want to go ahead right now to show you what the, the, the report we are getting from, uh, from, uh, from Okibwe. And those of you that are from Okibwe, you can also make a call to confirm. People don't longer sleep in Okibwe. They might have Arizona and Okibwe. The boys are outside right now as I'm speaking, blocking every road because of the full enemy men that are coming to kill the people of Okibwe right now. I'm going to show you this video. I want you to watch when you are done. Once you are done watching, then whatever you might have learned, you let us know because this is the reason why people like Ikonso was needed in our land, but the enemy came and massacred him. They killed him because they do not want people like him to be alive to protect our people. But I'm telling you that I see the hurt this moment. Men are very, very upset and they are out there fighting and trying to defend their land. And that is the right thing to do and the wisest thing to do. I want you to listen to this. Listen to it and watch this video. <laughs> From that side, I'm going to stand on Kiwi like this now. When the man under his poor, no, no, I saw that on the like this now. I'm going to walk like this now. I'm going to go to the inner, I'm going to go to the inner. I'm going to go to the inner. I'm going Yes, man. So tonight, I'm ready for that. i all of us, they are side like this. This is two, twelve thirty. Half past twelve, midnight, quarter to. Now, this line is I'm not a dog. I'm not a dog. I'm not a I'm not a dog. 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 I'm not a I'm not a dog. 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 i I'm going to share this picture like this. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to
What's in the soul? No, I'll go Bible. And I'll go on so I don't know how I let you from beginning. I'll make a honey. I'll make a honey. Yes, welcome back, my brothers and my sisters. The reason why I play this video is because of some unscrupulous elements that always doubt what we are saying. Some idiots that always say that you people are liars, that we are not saying the truth. That is the reason why I am showing this video. These are the youths of Okiwe that came out. What this thing that I just show you now happened last night. But I got this video this afternoon and I decided to bring it to you. For those of you who are from Ezinachi, those of you who are from Okiwe, those of you that who are from Amora, it is time for you people to believe that the enemies have come to take over our land. And do you know why this is happening? When Ikonso, Command Ikonso was alive, this kind of things were not happening. It was not happening because Command Ikonso with ESN in Imu State chapter were on the ground making sure that they are pushing these people out of the bush. Command Ikonso was dealing with them mercilessly in the bush. Those that are coming to kill us, those that are already that have been confirmed already in our communities in in, in, in Imo State right now, and they are coming into town. You heard what that guy, what the guy, what that guy was saying. He said that once they enter into your house, they break your house, they shoot everybody, they kill everybody. That they have taken over all the bushes in Okiwe. They have taken over all the bushes. They are killing people from Amoro, from Ezinachi, coming up to the town, and this is happening. Have you understand the reason why Ikoso was killed? Ikoso was killed because Ikoso was fighting gallantly, making sure that all Imo states we are being uh, are, are being protected. He was killed before because he said enough is enough that nobody is going to kill uh, uh, his brothers and his sisters in Imo state. Do you see the importance of a great man like Ikoso? Because Ikoso was protecting his own people, his own family, his own sisters and brothers. Ikonso was fighting against the Fulani herdsmen who are coming to take over our land. What is the need of these people? What, 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 did they know? what did they want? Is it not to come and take over our land? Is that not? They, they came with a the cow in disguise, all in the name, they are reeling their cow. But with that cow, they are committing a lot of uh, atrocities, killing people. But their main intention, their primary motive is to take over our land. And you listen to this man that just spoke to you right now. They are the vigilante. They are the youth of the of the community. They came out, getting ready to, to fight and to, to die with them. You understand what I'm saying? And when Mazen Namdekan was talking to us, telling us, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, all of you do not understand. Our mama, you people have killed the dogu that you have. You, you people have killed the man that was fighting to protect you. What is happening in Okiwe? Very soon you will see it happening in our mama. That is if there is no other man that will fight to defend Imo State. You people have seen the importance. What Ikonso was, pro, was, 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 was protecting. What Ikonso was preventing while he was alive. All of you will go to your homes and sleep amicably. You will sleep gently. You will sleep wildly. Nobody will disturb you. You will be snoring. Enjoy your sleep. Why men are in the bush fighting the battle for you? Why men are in the, on the street, both under the rain, under the sunshine, sacrificing their lives, taking risk of, 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 of snake bite and the dangerous animals in the bush? This is the work that he also did. This is the sacrifice that he also gave to us. Then the, the enemies have seen that this guy is a gallant guy. He is alive. Once he's alive, he's going to protect his own people in Imo State. That is why they went after him and got him killed. Now, as I'm talking to you right now, the people that the, the Ikonso and his men have just out of out of uh, out, out of uh, Imo State are, are are coming back again. Then the new commander is supposed to re-strategize to make sure that he continue from Iko where Iko stopped. But you are Imanas Nadikan Ibia have no no. You people are seeing it right now. You have seen it. The impact that the console that they killed was playing in the life of the people from Imo State. 
Every nook and cranny of Imo State was gently, uh, was, was, was calm. There was no much uh, disturbance of the Fulani Hesmen because of the presence of Commander Ikonso. That guy is a million men in one man. That guy is a million men in one man. He fought for you. He fought for me. He fought for all of us. He was on the ground, patrolling day and night, making sure that nothing happened to you, nothing happened to your mother, nothing happened to your sister, nothing happened to your children inside Imo State. But the people that sold him away to, to the enemy happened to be his own brothers and his own sisters from his own community. What was his crime? He also committed no crime. He is a freedom fighter. Who is fighting to defend Biafra land? And look at what is happening right now. The people of uh, Okiwe are now crying. They are crying that the full anime men are killing them. They are killing them. And now those that those that fingered Ikonsos death, those that pointed at him, those that, that gave information that led to his death, and those that killed him, by wherever they are now, they will be happy. Because the reason why they killed him is because they wanted to pave way for the enemies to come in and, de and destroy our people and kill them and take over their land. You heard that guy saying that the way they operate is with the, while you are sleeping inside your house, they will break your door, come into your house, kill you, and continue moving. You see it now. You guys have seen it. You guys have seen it. And this guy is telling the whole world that they need that they, 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 they need help. That we should share, share, share the video. That they need reinforcement. The men that are that are fighting and defending Biafra land, why you why you you, you, are, you are you are staying in America enjoying yourself, your family is staying in, in, in New York, enjoying themselves, I mean Japan, enjoying themselves, your family in the village, we are snoring, sleeping gently because of people like Ikonso who are not sleeping, who have denied themselves sleep all day, morning, and night. When there is rain, when there's no rain, both sunshine, they are up and taking making sure that they are fighting these enemies in the bush. Then they came out now and they killed him. The new commander in Imo State is supposed to re-strategize to continue from where Ikonso stopped. Because I believe that Ikonso is still fighting in the spirit, in the spiritual realm. We are not here to make you happy or to tell you a story that touches the heart. We are here to tell you exactly how it happened and what happened. Exactly how it happened and what happened. And wait, let me show you something that would be that would have been happening to your parents. Something that would have been happening to your mother, your father, your sister, and your brother. I'm going to show you because our people say in Igbo language, no, 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 na no, 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 Let me show you what could have been happening to your parents. I'm going to show you. Because this is a community that has been sacked and sacked in Benue State. They are all running away. They are all running away because of this same Fulani Hesme that their brothers in army are busy killing our innocent people in Biafra land. I am going to show you right now. This is what could have been happening to your parents. Watch this video. Wait, I'm coming. Let me show you. Because Anna Wunu, Unamanu, Anna Kolun Unamanu. This is it. This is it. This is it. Listen to it. Look at them. They sack this community. They sack them. You see it. If you have a do you see how they are running away from their community? Because Fulani has men. Boko Haram, they are all after this community in Benue State. You see it? This, this could have been happening in Imo State right now as we are speaking. But because of Mazenam, because of ESL, it's not happening yet. And it's not going to happen because instead of this to happen, we all will die there. You have seen it? Where are those people that those people that think that say that they, 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 they say that they, they they are protecting you? Look at them. See, people are running away from their communities. What? These people are more than almost one thousand. You hear that? They are more than one thousand. 
Do you see the way they are running away from their communities? This is the work that the council was doing that most of you do not understand. I am going to play it again for those of you uh, doubting Thomas's to see. I am going to play it again. Watch it. I can even play it 10 times for you people to watch. Watch it. If not for people like it, because if not for people like ESN in Imo State, if not like somebody like Mazen Namikam, this is the this is supposed to be the condition of your father, your mother, your brothers and sisters in your communities. Because these people is now living the ancestral land. Where are they running to? To somewhere else. They need protection. You have seen it. This is the situation that could have befall each and every one of you communities. All of you enemies that are pointing finger. All of you enemies that are showing the, the houses of those who are fighting to protect them. I hope you are seeing this video. These people have been attacked by Fulani Hesmen, by Boko Haram, by Aiswap. They are running away from their communities. Look at them. These people are more than almost 1,000. You hear him? You hear him? And it is a policeman that's supposed to go and fight those people that are, that are chasing them that is doing this video. It is a police, whether a policeman or a military or an army man that is doing the video saying that these people are more than 1,000. You see it? This could have been the fate of your communities. And they went and killed those that are fighting to defend you. They are trying every possible means to call them terrorists. They are trying every possible means to call us terrorist organization, but it's not working because the international community knows the truth. We are not terrorists. But do you know what? Who call you the terrorist at first? It is your governors. Your governors are the people that tag you terrorists. You that is fighting to defend your land against the Fulani that came to take your land is not a terrorist. Then the, ter the, ter the, ter the terrorist himself, which is Fulani as men, that came to take your land are not terrorists. They are giving them money, negotiating with them. And when Mazenan can tell you that war is coming in this land, you thought he was joking. You can't run away from it. You cannot. This is a community in Benue State that these people have chased away. And these people are running to another, another places. It is happening day in, day out. And people like Ikonso was murdered because he was fighting to defend this kind of people that nobody is defending them. They are defenseless right now. This community is defenseless. And the same thing that happened in Okiwe. And when we talk, some idiots, some eflefu, we come out and be making and, 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 and be gush, gushing nonsense out of their mouth. They'll be saying a whole lot of shit. You cannot fight for your people. You cannot defend their people. You cannot bring anything to the table. Those that are fighting, you are fighting them. Are you not a witch? Are you not a witch? Okiwe is under siege since yesterday night. And the full of the men are the people that have taken over these places we were talking about and killing them. Yes. They have taken over. There is a video I have here that I'm supposed to show you where they cut somebody's head. Completely. They cut the person's head, cut their hand, put it on the ground. I, I, I would like to show it, but I know that Facebook are going to come after this program. I know quite right that they're going to, going to come after it. But you people, you, you people, it is good for you doubting Thomas's. Doubting Thomas's. Hey, we don't want war. We don't want war. Who is bringing war to you? Is it not the same Fulani that is bringing war to you? Is it not Boko Haram that is bringing war to you? Who is bringing the war? They are escalating the war. They are bringing the war. They are killing the people. Then when you fight back to kill the people, then their brothers in the police, in the army will give order. Then your community will be invaded and you will be killed. And some of you are still saying, hey, let, let there be love. Hey, let there be peace. Uh, we need to love each other. Look at your dossier. Your dossier posted rubbish on his wall on 30th May. Instead of your dossier to commemorate with the people, 
that lost their life that they that he believed he was saying we need peace in this common in this in this country now we need love this and that you are preaching love and that of men the people that you that we were remembering that day were they killed by love or by hatred was it not hatred that got them killed because they hated them they hated us that is why they killed us instead of you to say rest in peace or remembrance of our hero our fallen heroes you are there preaching love just like a uh, 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 Peter Okoye, the one that the one that was telling us before, uh, he, uh, he married in uh, he married in Yoruba land. He lived he, at school in Nausa. He is Igbo. Blah blah blah. Talking rubbish. These are the people, celebrities were expecting to come out and speak for the world to listen. And some of you are still cajoling, playing with your lives, all in the name of jealousy and envy. Over Mazen Nam Dekano. You are envious of this man, but you cannot be this man. And there are so many people who are acknowledging the truth and the fact about what this man is representing and who he is. So many of them. Look at what is happening in Imo State right now. Look at what is happening in Anambra State. Look at what is happening in the boy State. We are there not want, they were want. Let me remind you once again. Because Joshua Iginla won them. Prophet Joshua Iginla seriously won them. He said, negotiate God now. He said, negotiate now. And these people, these animals, doesn't know what negotiation means. And nobody went to school enough to understand the language, negotiate now, to tell them to go and negotiate. Nobody. And they allowed this to happen. I want you to watch it. God began to speak to me. Listen. About Biafra. Watch it again. Some of you have forgotten. I stopped somewhere last month and I'm going to throw a little light on another one. And I pray that the authority consigned should listen to me. Tell them. And it's a statement. Dialogue now so that you should not be knocking the door for dialogue and there's no dialogue that is what is happening now that is what, God told me. That is, what is happening now i'm saying it i said there is a spirit in this young man it is bigger than what physical eye can, can see. see thank you i'm not an evil man i'm a yoruba man but i'm speaking as a prophet i said what i see in this young man mm -hmm. is bigger than him of course you see the man, the small boy that they call him, mm -hmm. what is inside him is bigger. Yes, he saw everything and he told you you it's don't want to listen. It's not just an ideology. It's bigger. I said, I see an animal. Which animal did I tell you last time? Huh? I said what? A what? A puppy. A what? A small puppy. And I say, I see a small puppy going forward. All of a sudden, I saw so many strange wild animals, lion, bear, great animals around the puppy. Yes, I want to I remind you. the puppy look back and saw that the animals around him are so many. Okay. And suddenly the puppy, what I saw last month is different from what I'm seeing now. Okay. The, the puppy is developing some futures of wild animals. Beautiful. They have not seen nothing. Since they it don't understand the, English. This prophetic word is not to the negative. It's very important. Take the Biafra agitation serious. serious. Dialogue now. They refused. Because I see a time. Doors are not. Calls are made. People who are heady. I said we have come down, mm -hmm. but these people are not willing to dialogue again. Okay. Please, redeeming the time for the days are evil. Dialogue now. Dialogue now. I repeat it again. I'm not an evil man, but I'm telling you what I'm shown in the spirit. War. I'm seeing great people, important people in this nation coming together. And say now, okay, 
We want to sit on the table. Let us talk. But the people you want to talk with are saying it's too late. It's too late. Please dialogue now. The days ahead are evil. Okay. Dialogue now. This is not a cry of a baby. Okay. It's a cry of an adult. Okay. I repeat it again. Dialogue now. The Bible said, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Okay. Please, every authority, there come a time when a revolution is about to take place. Mm -hmm. The power of God, bombs and bullets cannot hold an ideology. Okay. Please, dialogue now. This is not the time of, I have bullets, I have gun, I have bomb. No, they have brought it to us. to do with bullets and bomb. They have brought it to us. You know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit? Everyone in federal authority should take the Biafra agitation serious. If you are once a founding father of this nation, sit down around the table and listen to your children. Dialogue now. Okay. Did they listen? Did they listen? They did not listen. Dara. This is not the time to arrest anybody. Okay. It's the time to hear the cry of the people. Okay. Dialogue now. You don't even know anything. They keep arresting. Because it's going to be the last resultant solution at the end. Okay. But when you are asking, when the king comes down from his throne mm -hmm. and he's saying, I'm ready to talk, mm -hmm. and everybody's throwing stone on you, you, then mm -hmm. you will know. That it is important to dialogue with honor and prestige and go out and there is peace in the land. Okay. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very, very much, Prophet, uh, Pro uh, Prophet Iginla. You listen to him. He warned them two years ago to dialogue now. They refused. He warned them, dialogue now. Dialogue now. They refused. He warned them. They think they are stubborn. They think that their bullet and their gun can stop uh, uh, what is happening. It cannot. You are killing innocent people right now. And the more you are killing us, the more you are, you are, you are escalating the case. The more you are making us looking, I mean, uh, uh, more bitter. The more you kill us, the more you make us to hate you more. And the more you are inviting more enemies, the more you are inviting more, uh, more, more, more monsters. Look at Boko Haram. You killed the commander of Boko Haram, Mohammed Yusuf. And today, you are crying. Today, you are crying. The Boko Haram is doing this. Boko Haram is doing that. It's because you refuse to dialogue. Because you don't know what dialogue means. You, you know, all your professors are professors of, of, of stupidity. They do not have sense, common sense. They don't know the meaning of dialogue. They do not know common meaning of dialogue. That is why they cannot dialogue. Listen to this man. He told you that he saw Mazen Nanakano moving like a small puppy. And they, all of a sudden, he looked back and many wild animals were following him. How can we follow? How can we follow? Jackals, lion, leopard, different wild animals were following him. And those animals, they, 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 they metamorphosed and formed a very big white animal that is coming to devour everything. What is happening right now, from what I'm seeing, is a child's play to compare with what is going to happen. If you don't call Mazen Namdekano and give us date for our referendum. It's not a threat. If you like, you can continue with your, with your, with your, with your, with your uh, guns and bullets and arrest. You can kill those that you can kill. Then the, the remaining one will still be there fighting. And the more you kill our parents, from example, as I am now, you kill my parents, you kill my father, you kill my mother. And you will expect me to step down? God forbid. It can never happen. It can never, ever, ever, ever happen. The people you are killing have family. The people we are killing have family. As I'm speaking to you right now, the men, the boys that have killed, that have killed in Imo State alone, the boys, the young young guys that have killed in Imo State alone, in the next, let me tell you, in the next, in the next 10, 15, 20 years, so many women will remain, will, be, will remain unmarried. 
because they have killed their husbands. You don't know? So many of our women will remain unmarried because you are killing people's husband. You are killing people's father. You have made so many women a widow for killing all these people you are killing. And this man said, dialogue now. The prophecy was very clear and you refuse to dialogue. And you think you can quench an ideology with guns and bullets? You cannot. You can never, 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 never do that. The more you are killing us, the more you are making us a monster. The more you are killing us, the more you are bringing the demon in us out. The more you are killing us, the more you are making us to be more, more fearless. The more you are killing us, the more you are killing the, 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 the humanity in us and bringing out the, 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 the spirit in us. I'm telling you the gospel truth that what you need to do is to come as an am the canon. Give us death for referendum. Give us death for referendum. Because we are no longer afraid of your bullet and your guns. You can testify to that. We are not afraid. You have killed us to the extent that we, we have no option than to begin to defend us. Very, very soon, inside that Owere, you will see all these young guys will come out now with whatever they can lay their hand upon. Begin to fight you people back. This, this one will not long, it will no longer be the, the, the issue of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, what do you call it, of, uh, um, uh, uh, of uh, 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 non government and the army and police. No. It is going to be the full blown war. Everybody will stand up to defend themselves. You will see. Keep capturing young boys, killing them, killing their, their women, killing everybody. You see. A time is coming very, very, very soon. Very, very, very soon. Everybody will stand up. To say enough is enough. How many bullets do you have? You carry six helos. Inside one helos, you carry maybe six uh, army or, or eight armies. And inside that your magazine, we know how many bullets that you have there. Maybe you may have two or three magazines. When people will come out to say, enough, or now you are going to kill all of us. All of you will die also. And it's going to happen very, very, very soon. Mark it somewhere. You will shoot those that you can, that bullet can touch. Those that bullet cannot touch will catch you and kill you, strangle you alive. By that time, it will become a very big blown war. The whole world will see it. You are killing people because you think nobody is. We are not defending ourselves yet. If you go to where now, boys are no longer in a way. Everyone is running away because these idiots are moving from house to house, arresting people. So many videos to show you. So many of them. The Gila said dialogue now. Look at Okiwe. Okiwe is under siege. When Ikoso was alive, such a thing wasn't happening because Ikoso made sure that his, him and his men were flushing them out of the bush. They were flushing them out of the bush, out of Biafra land. So they say, okay, that guy is the problem that they have. So with that guy being alive, they cannot do anything. They can't do anything. So for that reason, they are going to do, uh, they're going to look for him. And they begin to, you know, look for his brothers and his sisters who, with, who have accepted to, to betray their own brother. And lo and behold, they succeeded in doing that. But today, I believe, there is every I believe by today, those that killed Ikoso must be regretting wherever they are now. Because the land that Ikoso was defending is now under siege once again. And thank God for the men that are still on the ground. Let me show you. For those of you that are still calling Mazen Namdekan nobody, those of you that come out and rant and call Mazen Namdekan is this, Mazen Namdekan is that, who are you? Who are you? I want you to listen to this someone. Listen to this someone from the Monso. I know that some of you might have seen it, but I want you to listen to it again. Listen to it. The spiritual clergyman. The men that 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 knows what power and what uh, spirituality is all about. Listen for you to pray very very hard this season. Listen to this him. period is a period of prayer. The situation in which we are calls for prayer, for supernatural assistance that God will help us. David, the prayer is I want to one. I look out to the heaven from there come to my hell. David wrote that psalm where he was, where he had nobody to fight for him. Just like what is happening in our country, Nigeria, today. As you can see, there is tension everywhere. Situation of unrest, insecurity, 
triggered up by angel seeds, nepotism, tribalism, inhumanity of man to man. Are you listening? Federal government, they know what to do to put an end to this insecurity problem. Are you listening? Let them stop. Are you listening to a clergyman? Are you listening to Bibi Monson? This is not Mazen and Kano talking. This is not me, Mazen and Kano talking. This is a priest, an Oden priest, speaking. Are you listening to him? Man, inhumanity to man. Hatred. Nepotism. Let me rewind it. Maybe you can listen to him again. Listen. Security. Listen to him. by injustice, nepotism. Injustice, nepotism. Tribalism. Inhumanity of man to man. Inhumanity. Man Federal man. government, they know what to do to put an end to this insecurity problem. Listen to him. Let them stop pretending. Okay. Let them stop pretending. There are extension everywhere. I stand to be criticized and crucified, but I'm saying the truth. Be beautiful. I am preaching the message of love. I'm preaching the message of peace. I'm praying for peace in our country, Nigeria. But then, there cannot be peace without absolute understanding. They don't understand. They don't go to I want to tell the whole world. Now they can is a powerful man. Do you hear that? I'm telling everybody the, the whole secret. Do you hear him? Nam the Khan is a powerful man. So all those idiots you call all those buffooneries from the creek that are that are, when they're talking speed will be jumping, jumping out of their mouth. Nam the Khan, you look at him, you be you, you you cannot even eat. Very, very dirty idiot. Speaking against Mazen and Khan, listen to a man of God, what a man of God is saying. That Mazen and Khan is a very powerful man. A very powerful man. A very powerful man. That is who he is. I want you to listen to it again. Listen. I tell the whole world. Nandekanu is a powerful man. I'm telling everybody the, the whole secret. The whole truth. Yes. In fact, people like him are rare in the planet Earth. Okay. Wait. I'm coming. Just a single statement. Single statement. And there is station everywhere. Of course. As you, as you can see, a good number of us are not here. Okay. When we are about to begin the mass, Father asked me, what is happening? Mm -hmm. And I said, what? Well, and the kind of statement. <laughs> Just a statement. A Sit statement. at home. Do you hear it? Sit at home. home. And there is are you listening, intellectuals? Are you listening, you animals that are always angry, that are always envy? Envious of Mazenam the Kano. Are you listening? This is an ordained priest preaching the gospel of love to those that understand what love means. But to them from the Sahel region that doesn't understand what love means, what they understand is hatred, nepotism, killing, inhumanity, man to man. That is what they know about. But do you listen to this, what this man is saying about Mazenam the Kano? He's a powerful man. If you like, when the question is now, if you like, he had the war. That man is not your mate. That you may senior him in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm, a man of God is telling you how powerful he is. Only a statement, only a speech that he declared. See it at what? Home. And everybody stayed at home. And everybody seated at home. Everybody. The only thing that didn't sit at home was goats that came out of the street. Goat came and take over the highway. Yes. But every creature that is a woman is in their house. Lock with it, bad luck. Nobody came out. And when we talk about Mazen Namdekanu, some of you will be, will be, some of you out of your envy and jealousy, you will be, uh, people like Uwazurike, you will be videoing yourself, say, show them my house, I am here, let him come back here, blah, 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 blah. When you know that it is only three places that belongs to a freedom fighter, a true freedom fighter, exile, the grave, or the prison. He have been to the, he have been to the prison, they couldn't imprison him. They came to send him to the to the grave. God said it is not yet time. He escaped the assassination. Now he is in the exile. He have imagine and can have passed through these three steps that that have that have that, that, that have authenticated him as a true freedom fighter. 
It's either you're in the prison or you are in the you know, it's either you're in the prison or you're in the grave or you're in the exile. Imagine now the kind of have passed through this 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 three funnels of fire and it has been refined as a gold. Because before a gold will shine and become gold for real, it has to pass through furnace of fire. You have to burn it. They have stretched him, took him to the prison. For two years, they could not jail him because he told them, you cannot jail me. You are not educated enough to jail me. Tell Buhari, that is what I say. That is the word of Mazen Amikana. And lo and behold, you couldn't jail him. And he came out. And he continued what he was doing to show you the kind of man he is. And some idiot who are seated at Kotonu, who are, who are taking money from the uh, oil pipeline, pipe guideline, as go went to Kotonu, build their house, build their, their schools, make all their investment, and they, and they, and they, and they employ Kotonu people, not employing his so-called so uh, job people. And when Mazenan Khan is talking, people like that will come out and be talking. Was Wiki will be rolling his chair, say, she look at me. I mean, my, everybody knows that top you people are, 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 are career freedom fighters. Listen to the man of God. Listen to him. When we are about to begin the mass, father asked me what is happening. And I said, What? And then the kind of statement. Do you hear him? The, the number of the crowd that used to attend to this adoration ground in UK. This place is located into, at UK. Reduced drastically. People did not turn out. People did not turn out. And this is on Sunday. This is on Sunday. It was not on Monday that is the, that is the lockdown itself. This is the day of remembering of our heroes. This is a Sunday Mass. For your information. And he told the, the, priest, the other priest that it is Mass and the Canos declaration that everybody should sit at home. And look at it, the confirmation. The man that you are joking with. The man that you are playing. The man you are toying with. Listen to the man, the people that understand the spiritual side of Mazenan. Not those of you that are still seeing him as, as, as your fellow small boys. Listen to him. Just a statement. Sit at home. Sit at home. And there is tension everywhere. Okay. I want to tell somebody here. There is a spirit behind this Piafra. Okay. There is a spirit behind this agitation. Okay. And I am advising the federal government, let the dialogue now before Again. it is too late. Again. Again. When a spirit is involved in every agitation. Do you understand that the first person I showed you was saying dialogue now. That was a gila and that was two years ago or so. I think if it wasn't, if it wasn't last year, it was two years ago. That video was made two years ago. When Igilla was saying, dialogue now, dialogue now, the idiots from the Sahel region do not listen. They did not listen. And now, another man of God, another priest is now reminding them again to dialogue now. That is why I played the other video. Because I know that DSS, they are watching this video. They are watching. As you are watching right now, they are also watching. And they know that what I'm telling them is the truth and nothing but the truth. As you are relaxed in your house now, watching wherever you are in the world, because this is an international uh, broadcast, the world, whole world is watching. They are also watching. But will they learn? Will they learn? Can they pick something out of, make something out of this man of God that is telling them dialogue now? Can they? No. Why? Because they don't know the meaning of dialogue. They do not know the meaning of dialogue. Like Muhammad, you should try and explain to your, to, 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 to your uh, slave masters from the Sahel to know the meaning of dialogue. Now another man of God is reminding you to dialogue now. This is fresh. Oh. The other one was two years ago. He refused to listen. Now listen to this one. There is a spirit behind this movement. There is a spirit that is behind this. Blood has been shedded. People have been killed. People have been massacred. Souls have been destroyed. There is no, nothing on this planet that can stop this struggle. Nothing. Nothing. Because blood is involved. And the spirits of the land are very, very upset. The only thing that can stop all these things is give us our Biafra. We can be neighbors. You kill 5.20 million people. You think that that 5.20 million people you kill just wasted. Is that what you think? No. 
No, no, no. Their spirit is still clamoring for justice. Their spirit is still asking for justice. They need justice. The reason why they are why they, 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 they were killed has not been fulfilled. So for that reason, no 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 amount of gun bullet or helicopter, gun boat or whatever that can stop it. Nothing. Listen to the man of God. Behind this Piafra, there is a spirit behind this agitation. And I am advising the federal government, let the dialogue now before it is too late. When a spirit is involved in every agitation, it's not easy to stop at all. It's not easy to stop because you can fight the spirit. Many lives, many have offered their lives. That's why the spirit has taken over the battle. Let them dialogue. You mustn't achieve everything with violence. Okay. I repeat again, you can't achieve peace all the time with violence. You can intimidate people all the times with your authority. That is what federal government has to know. Let them call that your man back and the dialogue. Because people are even ready to take bullets for him. Of course. Remember the day federal government came to arrest him. Many people took bullets for him. Of course. They stood on the guy for him and said, shoot us. Of course. And you see them protecting their master. I was there, live. Many died for his sake, and they're still dying. I was there, live. People are frustrated. I was there, live. There is no job. I was ready to take the bullets for no him. No job, no employment. The economy situation is in shambles. Our youth have no hope. But I want to tell you, your hope is in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Let them look into the reason for this agitation. We are one Nigeria. I am not one Do Nigeria. Do you know the world took Hitler for granted? I, I am not one Nigeria. Until that one. man killed over six... Father Obimna, listen to me. Father Obimna, listen to me. I am not one Nigeria with anybody. One Nigeria was a man-made creation. It was created by Hitler, by, by, by um, uh, what do you call them? Frola Shaw. And Fred Lugard, Britain created one Nigeria, so I'm not one Nigeria. So I understand your language, it's a political language, we know the truth, but I'm not one. Maybe you are one of Nigeria, but me, I'm not. And I believe that millions of Biafrans are with me in this line that we are not one Nigeria. What we want is Biafra restoration, that is all. It's million Jews, and the many, you can imagine so many, number of people who have died in the cause of this agitation. People are frustrated. There is nothing a frustrated man cannot do. The worst thing you can do is for you to have anything to do with something who is already frustrated. That person is on the ground already. Of course. He's not looking for any other place to fall. Of course. He's already on the ground. Of course. So the safer course is to do what? Extend the handshake of love, give a good pat at his back, and let there be a dialogue. Federal government a dialogue. Stop pretending that you don't know what to do. To put to an end these agitations. Okay. Amen and amen. Yale bo ye kere ya bashinde ya maka. Mare bo ye kere bo ye kere bo she. Yes. Welcome back once again. There is a breaking news right now. There is a breaking news right now. As in the hot, that's why they bring up. Give you the breaking news we are having right now is in our back right now. The police, the army, and the RRS. They are moving from street to street, breaking people's house and bringing them out, arresting young, young youth in Aba. It is happening right now as I'm broadcasting now. Police and army in Aba are moving from street to street, from house to house, abducting people, taking them out of their houses and arresting young, young youths. This intimidation is getting too much. It is high time that people begin to fight back. It is high time that people begin to fight back. Why are they arresting innocent people? Those in their houses. Because they see all of us as Biafras. I said, I'm not a member of IPOB. I'm not a member of IPOB. I'm not a member of IPOB. They don't care. That is why I told each and every one of you that if you don't support, if you don't stand up and support that we all should be should be free, you are going to die. 
Because when they want to kill, they will not ask you if you are a member or not. As long as you are a Biafran, you are, a, you are an IPOB member. Whether you are a registered member, you are part, part and parcel of the family, they don't care. That is the current, the breaking news that is coming to our news desk, desk right now. Right now, I see the hot. They are in Alabama arresting people. And what have what 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 have these people that they are arresting arresting right now cost? Nothing, just for being their friends, for sitting at home, for respecting the order of Mazen and the Kano. That is why they are angry now, going from house to house. Okay, they ask you people to sit at home. You sit. Okay, now we are going to be arresting you people. Do you see? Do not forget that 2014, when we started this uh, 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 Biafra Remembrance Day, we marched in Enugu and they arrested some people. We marched in Aba, they arrested some people. Then in, in Anambra, at Mpo, when we marched, they killed so many people, they shot so many people at Mpo. 2014, 2015, 2016. Then 2000. 2016, when, when our leader was in the prison, we started to sit at home. So when somebody come out to agitate for his freedom, you kill him. When this same person want to sit at home, after sitting at home, then you after after the exercise, you go and be uh, uh, abducting them, taking them from their homes for arrest for, for, for sitting at home and remembering their fallen heroes, those that you people killed. This is a problem. This is a problem. But these people that are, that are fermenting this problem, they are going to receive it. The problem that they are causing, they are also going to receive it. Trust me, they will receive a very big chunk of this problem that they are fermenting when the time comes. When the time comes, they are going to receive it. Trust me. Because there is a limit to what you can do to a people. There's a limit that you can push a people to the war. There's a limit that you can intimidate people. At a time, they will rise up and say, enough is enough. Mazenam can give order. An order. An order. This lockdown, there was no advertisement. There was no uh, placard shared. Nobody was on the street as usual, as we used to evangelize. Nobody did all that. Only a declaration of a man. On the radio station with the microphone, and you think that you and such man, you are you are in the same you are in the same level, and everybody sat at home. I mean, every human being sat at home in the old eastern region, all eastern region, both south and south, south, south and south is everybody sat at home. Everybody, everybody. It is not yet time to answer call, please. It is not yet time to answer this call. Please don't call right now. It is not your time to answer call. Not yet time. When it's time, I will announce and I will open my line. Everybody was at home. And there are a lot of confirmation of everything that is happening. A lot of confirmation. And while we are still moving on, let me show you. I'm going to show you. Because, you know, their anger, the reason why they are going from home to home now, arresting people, is because they sat at home. They obeyed Mazenam the Kano's order. And because they are their friends. And that is a referendum. The first phase of referendum has been conducted for these people to, re to, re to respond to that. And the, all the billionaires, all the trillionaires, all the zillionaires in Iboland, everybody shut down their shop, shut down their businesses. Every, the, all the transport, Chisco, everybody packed their car, Ichuku, Iwanya, all of them, everybody packed their vehicles. They pack it at home. Every garage was shut down. On the market, the biggest market in the whole West Africa was shut down. Obo Etenugu was shut down. Obo Gologo was shut down. Everywhere was shut down. Even oil mail in River State. Everybody was every, everywhere was shut down. And now they are going from home to home. It is happening right now in Aba. They are breaking people's house and picking them one after the other for respecting seat at home. Now I want you to listen to this uh, Nigerian actor, Ochendo. Listen to him. Listen to Chendo. I want you to listen to what he said. Listen. You open your mouth with a smell like gota. The top saying, "Nan the can an idiot. Nan the can this. Nan the can that." Shabibu, you man, go your village. 
Other your village people make they see that too. Okay. If they comply, carry my name, give talk. Okay. Any talk we see, I call them to change them. Okay. I'm a dike. Now man, you be your. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? I believe you must have heard him. Many of you must have watched this video. He said, you that is opening your gutter mouth that is smelling, causing my name, calling him all manner of names. Go to your village. Give command. Sit at home. If anybody responded to you and do what you asked them to do, you should call a, you should bring a dog and name a dog after him. Do you know what it means? It's a great challenge. To all of you idiots that we are fighting to save and you are busy doing the job of the of, of Judas Iscariot in the Bible, betraying your own brothers. This message goes to you. Oh yes, I'm gathering your tell you in your kaifu. Oh Gennedy. Oh Gennedy. Can you hear me? I have a few. You got a go, you got a judge, you got a judge, you got a chacha. Master Namdekan is not your mate. And somebody did something that surprised me so much. I stumbled on that video this morning. I said I'm going to play it on my program today because that video was a bomb. I want you people to watch it. These are men that are in the social media. Some of them are comedians, some of them are, 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 are Nigeria, uh, 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 those that believe you won Nigeria before, doing their businesses and what have you. When you're telling them about Biafra a few years ago, they will say no. Right now, they, all of them have agreed. One day, I want you to listen to him, where he was pouring liberation for Mazen and kind of praying for him, for his success and everything, for God to protect him. I want you to watch it. You must watch it. You must have to watch it. Listen to him. Listen to him. It's a referendum that was conducted on 30th and 31st. Everybody agreed. Everybody agreed.
out of apostle. I hear God will bless you. Thank you so much for your prayer. That liberation is a very powerful one. And I believe that our leader Mazen Namdekan is watching this program right now as in the heart. And as in the heart, now so will they bring and give you. On this platform, we don't lie. We show you things and we tell you what is happening. And my brothers and my sisters, I want to show you something. I still have more videos to bring to you this evening, this night, this morning, depending on your location. This is why some people are killing themselves, dying of envy and jealousy over this great man. You, you see how this man is praying for him. There are millions of people that are praying for this same man in the canal that we don't know. Some are praying in a traditional way. Some are praying in their church. Some praying in, in so many ways. Even the outside people are praying for Mazen Namde in case you don't know. The original house people, the owner of the of the land that the people are calling not, 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 is they are praying for Mazen Namdekanu. Because Mazen Namdekanu happened to be the only person that was speaking in favor of uh, Ezak Zaki, that they should release him. Mazen Namdekanu was fighting for Ezak Zaki to be released. In case you don't know what a freedom fighter he is. Mazen Namdekanu used money. He used IPOB money to bail some Hausa people who are in Nigeria, who are in, uh, under 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 DSS dungeon. He, he he used money to he brought lawyer for them, paid for the lawyer to release the Hausa people. 
I have the video. If you want, I show you where he was telling them to come. He was telling the whole world how many years they have kept so many of them. There is a one they call Belief. There's a one they call Isa, 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 Isa Karamu or whatever they call him. Mazin Namdekamu was fighting for everybody to be free, not just the Biafrans. And that is why the enemies doesn't, doesn't like him. And some idiots from Biafra land are busy pouring spit on their body, thinking that they are insulting him. And now let me shock all of you, because some of you might have seen this, but some of you have, have not seen it. I want to, it is a long note, but I'm going to take my time to read the list of the people that they retired in the military currently. The list of the people that have been retired from Nigeria military currently now I see the hot. I'm going to read that for you. And the 80% of them are from our side. 80% of them are from Eastern region. Plus the Oduduwa people. And you that is still believing in one Nigeria, my question to you now is this. If your people are no longer needed in a country, if your people are no longer needed in a, in a, in a marriage, and the people that, and, and, and those that are holding them captive doesn't want them to go, would you fight out to go? You have to fight out to go. You won't stay there and, and for them to, to kill you. Odogu is a spirit. Odogu can remember. Now, look at it. 90% Southerners, 90% Southerners have been dismissed from the army and they call it retirement. It is called killing sin. They are killing everywhere. <laughs> the 90% Southerners, the ethnic and religion cleansing have continued. What they are planning now, their strategy is once they remove all the people from the Southern in the army, you know, they, they, they push all of them out. Nobody will have any information about their strategies and what they are planning to do. Already, whenever they are having their, uh, their, 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 their national council meeting or whatever they call it, they don't bring, no Igbo man is among them. No single Igbo man is, is among them. Sometimes if they, will choose, they will choose to expand you out. I'm going to lock him inside, inside the gathering and they have their meeting because Nigeria doesn't have a, any, any, any vice president. Let me, let me just begin to mention the name. Metro General T.C. Ude, Southeast. Major General L.C. Ilo, Southeast. Major General Enu Njoma, Southeast. Major General O. Ejimai, Southeast. Major General Pat Akim, Akim, South South. Okay, Akim, South South. Major General E.D. Atewe, South South. Major General Letam Wiwa, younger brother of Modra, of Modra. Okay, moderate environmental. Is it moderate environmental rights activist and author? Ken. Okay, modern. The person said modern environmental rights activist and author. Ken Saro Wiwa, the younger brother from South South. He had been dismissed from the army. They call it retirement. <laughs> because the list, you know, Major General F. Ali, South South. Major General Mobilaji Kola. Koleso, Southwest. Are you people listening? Major General SD Aliyu, Middle Belt. Major General Ibrahim, Middle Belt. Major General G.O. Agachi, Southeast. Major General Okonkwo, Southeast. Major General Ogidi, South South. Major General Koko Essien, South South. Major General P.E. Ekbeyong, South South. Major General Bright Fibo Nyomama South South Major General M Onoyeveta South South Major General IMD Lawson South South Major General Oye Fesobi Southwest Major General Al Ani Onibasa Southwest Major General Bashiru Momo South South Major General AH Saad South South former ADC to late President Musa Yaradua Brigadier General M.G. Ali, General L. N. Belu, Brigadier General N. Abisalam, all these ones are the middle belt. Not, I think it's not central or whatever. C. Okon, Southeast. Uh, O.U. Mwankwo, Southeast. 
Colonel Nicolas Achinze Dasuki, ADC, Southeast. Colonel Tony M. Minima, younger brother of former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Kenneth Maima, South South. Colonel FD Kayode, Southwest. Colonel Ojobane Adege, Adebe, ADC to former President Good Lord Jonathan Middle Belt. Colonel Audu. Colonel Audu. Lieutenant Colonel GC Inyeku, South South. Lieutenant Colonel Enebechuku, South East. Lieutenant Colonel Amadi, South East. Lieutenant Colonel Adimoha, South South. Lieutenant Colonel Ogemode, South South. Lieutenant Colonel T. Alibe, South West. Lieutenant Colonel T. O. Ola Duntoye, South West. Lieutenant Colonel Baba Ochampa, Middle Belt. Lieutenant Colonel Dazang, Middle Belt. Lieutenant Colonel E.S. Mohamed, all this one is Middle Belt. You hear it. Do you hear all the people that they have retired? Because they are planning this, their ethnic cleansing seriously. And they do not want anybody from, 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 from your side, from your state, to be among the army chiefs. They don't want them. The list is the list is too much. The list is too much. Now, if I begin to count the offices that they are holding, it is numerous. Everything full and full and full and full and full and full. I don't want to go there. I just don't want to go there. And the reason why I read this out for you is for you to understand what is happening. Now, as I'm talking to you people right now, in Osaka, in Enugu State. I said it in my in my morning broadcast. There are some people that Fulani has men are using to buy land from our people and handing over to them. And some people from that community have uh, contacted me. And let me see if any one of them is uh, is still uh, is still on right now for them to testify by them by themselves for them to talk to us for them to talk to the world tell the world what is happening because this land is too big. This land is too big that they have agreed to sell to the whole world. For you to understand what is happening to us, welcome to the program. Good evening, my brother. Good evening. Yes, this is Mazo Yes, I see the hot and so they talk. Them. I am live and direct, and the, right the whole world is listening. I would like you to introduce yourself and tell the world. Yes. I want you yes. to introduce yourself and tell the world what is happening in your community right now. I see the hot. Yes. Yes, as the host man, they say, talk up. Go ahead. And my go brother, as the, the thing they host from my side, I, my village, my village is one of our You know, the local government, Enugu State. My brother, Finally, want to buy 400 plots from our, our chairman and with the people in Gaspar and Edad. Say that they, we don't want to sell the land, but they, they, don't, they want to take it by force. They plan with the people, but we say no, and they want to sell that 400 plus because the Aousa people, the Aousa people are living there, even as of now. Our people are not going work, we are not going farm. Our people can show us that we, God bless us there. We don't, we know that we, we can. We can Cannot go for for work for bringing cashew nut anything in in our in our farm. Now please, we want to we want to use this opportunity to talk to you. Please, if you if you know how you can talk to our 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 every leader, Mazuna Mudikawi, to help our community to 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 pursue this outside people and to stop this our chairman and the our evil autonomous called and we want a term called Donald Duquan and the rest of uh, others, uh, some two others who, who are making this into sell, to sell the land. Please, we want to, we want to use this opportunity to, to beg you, to, to, if you know how can, you can stop these people, not to sell this land, because if they sell this land, these people enter our community. I, I, I'm telling you, our community will finish. This thing that happened in, uh, in a in the Benway state, we happen for us. So we are trying to we put signboard 
We put everything we are not in the radio so many times for these people to choose. They even collect, we have that they, they collected the money, the money about 100, 100 billion or 100 million from uh, the agent they called, uh, um, and what is it? They called it this man, um, uh, um, something like uh, estate, uh, estate. Uh, first choice estate. First, the man now, we are already people in that like, call this man, but this man is so that everybody that should not call this and should call her chairman. Why should we why should we talk to talk to him? That nobody will stop him not to buy that land. Even to the the place that our people show him that he's there, if he, they want to say he rejected that place and wanted to use to force everybody that collected each. You collected their own portion, you know, collected their own portion so that they will set up the, the portion that people have already collected and, re, and they replace it with the other place that they rejected. We have so many, we have so many uh, problems before, such a problem in, in, in 2000 and in 2000 and the area they say we reject, but this the uh, former chairman and then then went and collected the money. Eight states. We don't. We don't. We don't borrow our aside. We never collect anything there. They sell that land. We don't have any money there. We, government come and took that place without paying some people. Please, we are begging you. Do not allow. Please, if you can know how you can stop these people not to sell this land to this planning out. Because every our people now. We are, we are, we are, we are finding a solution. We are, and court to go and sue them to court, but court does not work now. Court is strike. We are trying, we are making every sure to make sure that we stop these people. Okay, Please. listen, listen to me. Host, my brother, listen to me. Talk to our, 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 listen our, to our, me. Our, 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 Can you listen to our, me? Uh, Chairman, to help us to stop these people, not to say this like for our, our district. Uh, so listen this, uh, listen to me them. now. Listen to me. Can you Please, hear? You. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Good. You know, you are talking to a few questions because the world is watching and the world is listening. Because I, I have a similar report from Osoka. I have a similar report from Osoka. We had somebody called me and told me that they want to sell a land okay. that belongs to the community. And at the same time, they want to use the indigenous people to buy the land and hide, hide, hand, it, hide, hand, hide it and hand it over to the, to the Fulanese. That the people said no. And this year own is yeah. a different case altogether. So what I want to ask now, the people that want to sell this land, does the Igwe of your community know about it? Is he, is he involved? Yes, but the, our Igwe is not the Igwe, it's not our Igwe, just our... They, they want to lose, they, they want to sell the land. That Igwe and one other person is the only two others that are, that they are not going to, that they refuse to sell the land. That they, they, they said that we, they will sell the land. Which of other, the Igwe? The other others, out of, of 200 Igwe and the And the, and the chairman, chairman of our committee. So yes. which, of, which of the Igwe, what is the name of the Igwe that want to sell the land? That Igwe, that Igwe is Donald, Igwe Donald Ukwan, Igwe Donald Ukwan. Okay, and the problem for, uh, the problem and with you people, and, uh, the problem with you people now is that you don't want, you, you people doesn't want them to sell the land and give to the full of the people, right? Yes. Okay. And um, the community said no. That means I want to know if the number of the people that say no are more than the number of the people that want to sell, or those that want to sell is more than the people that, that refuse. Which one is bigger in number? Yes, the people that said they don't want to sell the land is bigger. But because of the, because, because of the, they, they have collected money, they use money to, you know, 
giving all that, all that people in order to buy them. Even to the extent that now, our elders, they, they, they go one by one, house to house to write them, but they say no. If it does, I can give you a number of the chairman of the elder. You can call, you can call no, him you by yourself. No, 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 and listen, that. listen to me, listen to me. This program is yes. is listening all over the world. And I am okay. live right now streaming on Biafra Television on Facebook. At the same time, I'm live streaming on I the Hot Biafra Television and I'm on YouTube too. So the wider listenership of this program is, is numerous. And I, I must I must tell you that Mazi Namdekan is listening to this program right now, I see the Hot. So any complaint you are learning here, okay. he is taking cognizant of everything you are saying here. For those of you who doesn't know. He does not listen to this program always because when people are bringing their complaint, this is how he operates. He will take cognizance of whatever people are saying that is more important than he channel his strength and do one or two things that is not announced on the air. Because it's not everything that you people that Mazenamikan is doing on the ground that is being announced or that you are hearing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I don't yeah. have I don't have any powers to exhibit anything or to do anything. I don't. What I do is as I give you this platform to speak to the world and who say what you want to say and let the whole world know the truth as long as it's, it's truth then our leader will listen and he will go into action to take care of the situation but i'm telling you that any Igwe or any pg that sell any land that belong to our people to the full and the full and occupy that land and use that land to kill any one of us that person is going to go with the full people believe me you believe me you okay so what I'm trying to say is we this. Have, we, yes, we yeah. have an evidence because they, they, they have gone to another they, from another community, which uh, another community in a in a in a, in a in a in a rejected them. Even the Elugungu, the place they call Elugungu, they rejected these people. For the the the, the people, the agents, now people now tell them to go one or board. Hold it on. Is easier. Hold on, this agent former oh. local government chairman. Uji, Dr. Ngu, who brought them to one, and then they negotiate with them. So what I'm telling you is the fact we have our people have already knows even for the women, the women in the village, everybody asset management. It is a, it is a planning people. Even for the professors, professor, one of our uh, one of our uh, professors that teaching in a in a Suka, Professor Ani. Uh, one of them, one of their colleagues that teaching in Suka, told him why 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 do you allow people to collect? Uh, why do you allow your community to sell land to my, my people, the other people? Do you want the people to finish up? I'm telling the truth. This man said no. They have it is true, but they, they don't they won't want to sell the land. Okay, okay, that means they want to use they want to use the developer. They want to use they want to use the real estate management to listen now. When you're talking, you're listening. When you talk, you're listening, brother. When you talk, you're listening. Don't keep talking, talking, talking. When you talk, you're listening. They want to use the real estate management use uh, estate man to buy the land, right? Yes. Okay, that is what I want to know. That and this this real estate manage, management is he an Igbo person or Yoruba or Hausa person? I, I'm sorry, I don't know the I don't know the tribe. Okay, there's no problem. The world have listened to your voice, and I believe that our leader Mazen Nandekan have also heard what you are saying. So, uh, if there is there any other thing you want to say before I disengage you? Yes, because Ian Nayobuna, in the Hausa Kano Kobani. Listen. Listen. listen to me, my brother. my brother. Listen to me, Namonte. Do you know that so many communities in a boy state, when our people, when our leader want to send in and to go and do job there, they will reject them and say they don't want. To. Are you aware of that? Are you aware? 
that some, com true. that some community will say, no, we don't want them, we don't want them. But when they start killing them, they begin to run to say, yes, and come and help us, so Mazenan can help, come and help us. So. And these are the people that are not in support of what Mazenan can is out for. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now you people are in trouble and you suddenly remember him as an I'm not blaming you because I know that you might be one of us that is supporting what we are doing. But the truth is this. Everything you have reported here is already taken note of because our leader Mazen okay. is listening. But, but what you have to do, what you have to do is to make sure that you coordinate with your people, those that said no, that they don't want, uh, they don't want uh, uh, the land to be sold. To keep firing and keep fighting, I believe Mazen Amdekan is going to do something about this case because he doesn't want to use his ear okay. to hear that Fulani is about to take our land. And you people should stop mixing Aosa and Fulani together. Fulani is the problem we are having, not Aosa. Aosa people are good people. The people that are moving cattle and cows here and there, up and down, the strong people farm, are Fulanis. I know that yeah. for a very long time we'll be calling them Aosa and also Fulani, but we all we have already you know know that they are the Fulanis and they are the problem. Do you understand what I mean? It is true. Yeah, thank you very, very much, and God bless you for your complaint. Thank yes, you, thank you. Yes, Biafrans as they hot now, so they bring them. Our line is open right now. For those of you who want to make contribution, who want to call in to say one or two things, I want you to go ahead and do that because the line is open. The number to call is already on the screen, and on the, this platform, as they hot now, so they talk. That is the voice of our brother, one of our brother from Mgo, who is complaining about the land that the the the, 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 the communities, 400 uh, plus of land that they want to sell to Fulani people. And you got, you all know what Fulani people means. Once they come into your community, that community is gone. Once they come into that community, that community is gone. That is how they roll and that is how they do it. But on this platform, I see the heart. We all know that Chukwu Kabiyama is always doing his great job because those of you that, do, that doesn't understand that Mazen and Nandekano listen to every of our brokers, we begin to understand that by from now. Program as it holds. Yeah, yeah. As it holds, that's why the talk. Thank you so much, my brother. Please, you have only about two minutes to make a contribution. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, thank you for what you're doing for Biafra. Thank you. Um, uh, thank God you're here now. Uh, please, uh, I just want to chip in one thing about this guy that called now. Probably after your program, if you can contact him and get the, the numbers of people that are involved in selling out that land to Fulani people, even the estate agent, the names and their phone numbers, if possible, the addresses, if you can call him privately and get sufficient information from him, you know, you know how to pass the information to our leader so that he can tackle it. Because the situation we are now is that any full and that we see around our place, we shouldn't even give them any breathing space, the place of uh, selling 400 uh, plus of land to them. So what I'm trying to say is that our people should, you know, rise up this time to defend our land. They should not be waiting for our leader to do everything for them. Like the caller, as he's listening also, he should also, like they are advising to organize some boys in their village, try to also defend their land and make sure that that land is not being sold. And all those people that are involved, when the youths rise up, whether it's the Igwe, or air gas or whoever that are involved, if the youths rise up and you know make their destiny known to them, I think uh, they is going to go a long way. So that when our leader calls them or gives instruction, I think uh, they will know that there is really fire on the mountain. That land will not be sold. Thank you. So thank you so much, my brother, for what you are doing. Thank you for your and contribution. You. He thank said, you. he said, thank you very, very much for your contribution. And the, the caller, I know, I believe you must be listening right now. If you listen to this, our brother, you can submit the names of the people and telephone number of these people that uh, our, our leader is watching. Then I will make it available to him so that if there's anything he will, he will do about it, he will go ahead and do that. Welcome to this program, Asi Hello, good evening. 
Welcome, welcome to the program. Go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. Um, I'm coming from uh, Dover. So I have uh, information to pass. I'm from uh, Umnede. So the land of Umnede, all the carriages in there have been taken over by Fulani. The same Fulani people? The, yes. Did I've been trying to reach my Did you people, did you people sold, able to reach Wait, did you people sold land to them? No. You know, if they want to come into a community or a town, they will come in through the monarch, like the Jyoti Kobi that we have. Yes. The man even have the man even have cows. I no longer go to their farm. If you go and report that, uh, uh, if you tell for any man that uh, uh, your crops have been damaged, he will tell you that even the Obi of Omiti, his cows is among the ones that eat your crops. Yeah. That's what that's what he will tell you. Throw the light, not. He will just tell you what I said. I won't send the. Some of their, because they have a lot of camps in Omnidi there. They have a lot of camps built in different regions. They are bushes. In Omnidi there. I will send to, do you, to uh, one number. Do you know one idiot? I to one number that was there. Uh, Hold on. Do you know one idiot that is called George Onibe? That, that, that buffoon, I don't like hearing his name. He's a very stupid man. <laughs> I don't listen to his explanation uh, before when he talk about Asbo people because I'm interested in when he has to do with Asbo <laughs> in their fan struggle. For the moment, I begin to see, he begin to pull himself. I don't follow his page anymore. Okay. Him uh, and uh, you... his brother, Uche Mefo, and uh, Obidio Bilu and all yeah. that. Yeah, and the reason, the reason yeah. why I ask they you... Are not, uh, people Listen to me. Followed. Listen, the reason why I ask you if you know that idiot is because this complaint you're laying now is coming from the community where the idiot comes from. Am I correct? It's from Umunede. Okay, okay. What you're saying is happening in Umunede. No, he's from Abo. Yes, I'm from Umunede. He is from Abo. He's from, he's from Abo. Abo. Uh, he's from Even Abo. Abo too is the same thing. But I'm not... Uh... What is happening now is about Abo people. So if somebody from Abo will have to lay that complaint. Me, okay. okay. Um, there's no problem. What you're going to do, you're going to submit the name of the OB and the name of the people that are involved that's, that give them those land. Okay? So write it down, send it here, then I will, I will push it to him, our leader. That is all I can do. In the name do. of OB, I will, I, will even, I will even bring the picture of the George OB. Whatever. Oh, oh, listen, listen, listen to now, me. Listen to, I, I'm talking to you now. Listen to As me. To listen to me. Listen. You are not listening. 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 I don't like it when people don't listen. I say listen, you listen. Okay, I'm listening. This is live program and the world is watching. It's not everything that will come here and talk blah, 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 blah. blah. No. You have complained. You have let okay. a complaint that your land is under siege, that in full and you have taken over your land. Then I tell you, submit the phone number, and the, and uh, then you have to do that and stop saying it's not everything that you should say. So you people should be diplomatic at times. Okay. Okay. Submit. Okay. You, you want to drop the number of the people that have sold their land to the enemies that have coming to kill you guys. Then we will push it to the to, to, to our leader. Our leader will take care of the whole situ of the rest situation. That is how he's done. You, you, you will not come here and be telling the whole world how you are going to go, where you are going to pass, whether you are going to wear shoe, when you are going to do it. No, that is not how it's done. So thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Hi, our brother, our people, they don't know what is freedom fighting at all. Yes, but it is good that we are we are doing it and educating them. And there are many calls that are coming in. Uh, so there's a particular number that have been calling me from the beginning of this part of this program. Let me return that number back and know what that person have to say. I'm returning this call. Please, the, call, uh, the person I'm calling, if you're there, your number end with 306. Go ahead and pick up your call. Maybe you have something to complain about. And the world may hear your voice. I see the heart on this platform. I saw the talk. Out. Maybe by the time you will see that I'm calling him back, I will be on another call. So many other calls are coming in. The line is open. The line is open. I have a caller on the line. Welcome to this program, I see the host. Thank you very much. Go ahead, my dear sister. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you. God bless you. God bless you for your good work. You see? God bless you. You see? I bet you gave 
one little. Uh, my name is Ojo Zubun. I used to call before. Okay. Yeah. It gives some issue that uh, they are bringing about land or no design. Go ahead. I know our leader is trying to best to make us stay comfortable. But all these people that is calling, they are they are they are in home, seeing their land is sailing. They say them be youth. Which can you to them be? Can't them do something? Must them leave everything for our leader? Must them leave, leave, leave everything for our leader? Come, 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 before they do them to two, three people, others will run away. That is true. Others will remove hands. Because when they leave the thing now, uh, they wait me, our leader come out, come and send people to come and rescue you, come and do this. It's not everything. We know that they are trying. They are the things to live for leader. They are the things uh, you to do. Let them gather together. Go to that place they used to do meetings. If they know that, then they gather planning. They don't tell them how to not be sure this is polite, but they don't want to learn. We are then the gather. Catch them bomb there. Catch them bomb all those useless elders that want to damage young people's life. Catch them destroy them. Midnight, they burn, burn their house, burn, burn their, their children, join them. They want to destroy them for life. Not everything that they live for, elder, uh, they, they really call our leader. You understand? There is something to call leader. Let all the youth to gather, join hands, shape the village. Carry we pawn up and down, change for this useless ada. Not everything they will leave for leader. That is the only thing when you want to talk. I see the hot for my heart now, so I just talk. Thank later. you. Bye bye. Thank you very, very much, my dear sister, for your contribution. Thank you very, very much. Oh my God. I mistakenly blocked somebody that I can never even dream of blocking on this platform. I want to block one stupid, Fulani idiot. Mistakenly, I block my own blood brother. Hey, Chineke Benjafi. Benjafi, please, if you are watching this program on YouTube right now, know that it is a mistake. I'm going to find a way to unblock you, please. It is these Hausa people that are posting rubbish here. They are posting nonsense here, posting all this, the advertisement, all this, the juju nonsense. I wanted to block them. I mistakenly block you. Please, I'm very, very sorry about that, Benjafi, please. I'm very, 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 very sorry. Sorry for blocking somebody I shouldn't have even think of blocking. The line is still open for those of you that want to contribute to this program. And we are still soldiering on as they hold now, so they bring them to you this night because Biafra is our nation and Biafra is our last hope. Ben Jaffe, please, I am very, very sorry. And there's no how I can unblock you right now while I'm live. There's no how I can do the unblocking right now. There's no how I can do that. Oh my goodness me. So my line is open for those of you who want to make your contributions the line is very 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 open you can go ahead and put on your call yeah welcome to this program i see the heart thank you my brother go ahead and do this and do that go ahead go ahead now go ahead go ahead go ahead Manze, we are here to say that it is. What I'm saying is that our people, our people, our people have to be very, very careful because we are not here to joke. Everything they call our leader, everything they call our leader, even if what they will use their hand and do. Hello? Your yeah, line is not okay. Please, you can call me back. And those of you who have been trying, you can call us back once again. And once you call back, I will answer your call. Welcome to this program, I see the Hot. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening to you. My name is Biafra Daughter. Good evening. Good evening. I see they hurt me for body. That's why I go take talker. Thank you very much. You Go know ahead. one thing. Uh, yeah, our people back home, they not say these people, they come to kill us. 
Daddy don't talk on so many times. If anybody that wear that animal dress, they should kill them. Even demonstrate how to measure, even though you don't get anything. Even describe some certain things for them. How to measure when they throw it instantly, whatever they throw it to, it will get born. So why our people is just crying, screaming? I see some video you play. They said they are on the street waiting for the full army. They cannot sleep anymore. They are on the street. Kigwe. Yes, so, Ato Kigwe. So now, yes. So those people, now, if they get weapon, anybody make their, their body, they hurt. I know that those people who come make them, they will finish all of them. So the rest of them, when they come, come and help us, come and help us. There is men in that country, in that place, in that they should gather their as all those people do, and they should get ready for all these things. This is not only ESS uh, work. They should help ESS. ESS, I know they are strong men. They are doing their right job. My brother, this thing is for everybody. They should wake up and do the natural things. They should not be screaming online. Come and clear for some. Why can't they keep pulling it back? Oh my goodness! What kind of nonsense is this? That is correct. The other one caught up at that day. He said, he said they need, he need gun and he did Lagos. He said he wants to go to Biafra. <laughs> he, he did Lagos. He said you need gun. No, hey. We are not in IPOB in Lagos. We are not in IPOB in our Biafra land. You are chatting, you want to commit suicide. You want to do this. You want you need gun. Is that how a mature people talk? If you mm. want to do something, some people that do something, they don't talk. Yes. They don't speak. Yes. Anyways, uh, my, my dear sister, you cannot blame some of them because... I'm giving a stress to our, our leader. I know. I understand. I understand. Maybe I even feel bad more than they did. I even feel pain more than them. If you, you don't understand. I do. If I can move here to that place and destroy all these evil people, I will do it if I have the opportunity. I will do it. it all those mad people. So all those the best side, all those the full of me hurt, all those motherfuckers, all those blood suckers. They turn that strike, they may be after and kill all of them. You see? You see? I'm so sorry, Papa. It's okay, it's okay. I'm Thank so you. annoyed. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, be after. Oh, hey, be after. Good yeah. night, sir. Good night, dear. Yes, our sister has spoken and she was very, very upset about our people who are complaining, bringing every every load to Mazen Namdekanu. I wish they know the, 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 the kind of load that this man is carrying already. I wish they know the kind of uh, problem that this man is facing already. And they are bringing a problem that they can organize themselves as a community, as youth, and begin to fight it themselves. Because the crowd that, the crowd that says no against those that say yes, if they are bigger, then they go after them. Yes, of course. That is how it works. If the people that says no, you can't sell this land, you can't sell it to full and U.S. men, are greater in number than those that want to sell it, then you go after them, you fight them down. That is how it. That is how it works. The number is still, the line is still open for those of you who want to contribute. And uh, any moment from now, if I don't receive any call, I'm bringing the program to an end. Yeah, welcome to this program, I see the Hot. Welcome to the program, I see the Hot. I cannot yes, hear you. Thank you. My name is Amechi Obi. Okay. Welcome to the Hello. program. Welcome to the program. Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you. As the host, I'm sorry, Dr. My own suggestion, I just want to chip in. Is I think the time has come that we and um, the South, the Biafran, should decide that no land plots of land should be sold or sell to the full and this period. No land, piece of land, any agent, any OPs or whoever is responsible to carry out those type of transactions, who is found selling land to full and who are busy raping our young women, killing them, raping our moms, and stopping our parents to go to farms. These people will pay the ultimate price. That's all I just, just have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Very succinctly and straight. Uh, we are not going to sell any of our land to the killers because, you know, when you ask them, because these people don't think, what they will say is that back there in the north that they are selling land to our people. Uh, but our people that they are selling land to we are peaceful. We are developing the area. 
you people, the land we are selling to you, you are not developing it. You are only occupying it, trying to use it to kill us. That is how it works. Welcome to this program, I see the heart. Good morning over here. I see the heart. Now, so I will take talk out. Thank you very much. Welcome to the program, my brother. Yeah, my name is Chisum. I want to talk things about uh, about uh, our our people in Abba. Go ahead. I just want to beg them for something. Go ahead. Please. Um, our Abba people, I want to remind you people who we are in that Abba. Abba is a place that our leader, Ferdinand the Kano, used to make mouth. Abba, we never left alone. We all grew up in that Abba. Abba never tolerated anybody. Be you Navy. Remember what we do to Temiejo in Amuikonne. Remember what we do to every person. We never tolerate from our mothers. To... Whoever are breaking our door, picking our brothers one after the other. Honestly. We used to move from Abba to Potakot pretty much and come back. We used to do everything. Where are the BTC? Boys Technical College, First Road. Where are the Wicos? Where are the high school? Uba High School. Please, I'm calling all of you, wherever you are. We should not allow such a thing. Even though you are in Lagos, you must fear our people. Why will we allow military? What country will not get there? Where is our Ponara? What we don't use in one hour, defeat many, defeat them in many places. We know the again, people waiting for house. Because we know how we did. Even though a small boy went a seminar, you know what they can do. We should not allow this thing to happen again. I'm crying here, shedding tears. Why must this thing happen to Abba? Something that cannot happen to a woman. Why, why is it happening in Abba now? Why will Abba be quiet? What happened? Abba never had be quiet before. Please, everybody should stand up in Abba. Should stand up in Abba and retaliate. We should not allow them to go out with anybody. Anybody. Please, that is what I want to talk. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. God bless you. You know, um, this thing that, this arrest that these people are making, is going to escalate very, very soon. I repeat, very, very, very soon. This illegal arrest and murdering of innocent people is going to escalate. And those people that are arresting, they will be arrested. And who invited them? Is it not the governors? It is the governors. The governors are busy arresting innocent people, those that voted them into power. The governor of Eastern Region are the people that invited all this army because they call you people terrorist organization. They call us terrorists. That is why these people are, they have the effrontery, the nerves to march into our land, begin to shoot people sporadically and taking their lives. And now they are breaking people's door, taking them one after the other. And now Fulani Hesmen are busy doing their own because the people that are supposed to be fighting them, the army is busy pursuing them, going after them. The police is busy pushing them, going after them. Like it will be most of said, they should nego they, they, they should negotiate now. They should negotiate now. <laughs> hey. They should negotiate now, and they are not listening. They are not listening. The people you are hunting, you will become hunted. You will become hunted. The people you are hunting will start hunting you very, very soon. Because what you guys are doing, the, the police and the army in uniform, these Fulani people, what they are doing is they are busy paving way for the Fulani hegemony to come and take over our land. But it will not happen because Chukwu Kabiyama is not asleep and Mazen Namdekano is, is alive. He is alive and nothing will happen to him. Now, let me show you people what happened. In this country, they want to use intimidation to bring everybody down. They use arrest. They use DSS, they use army, they use police, they use everything. Once you are speaking the truth or fighting for your people, they will come after you. That is what is happening. I have a caller on the line. Let me know what this person has to tell us this evening. Good evening. Welcome to this program, I see the heart. Yeah. 
at the hot Mr. Wolfsocker. Please, you have two minutes to do so. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm uh, only Kachuku Ono, I call it from Amsterdam. Go ahead, Mazu Uh Please, what I want to say is this. Uh, our people at home, if they want to call, if if uh, what if the the case they want to present require calling their village name, they should they should call their village name and not to call their name for security purposes because of the type of plan we have among us. So that's what I have to say. And then uh, we should also organize ourselves in terms of security at night to secure our various uh, communities. Okay, thank you very much for your contribution. That is why it's an open, yeah, it's an interactive I, section, so people can yeah. call in and make their own contribution to the program. And uh, there is a man, a lawyer that is fighting for IPOB, that is bringing our people out, that they are coming after this man. They want this man dead, but they will not see this man, and God will not allow them to take this man. Just as they killed the mother of uh, Barrister Okafo, they, they killed the mother of Barrister Okafo, they are going after this man. And I want to play the video so that you people will understand the risk and the, and, the, and the tedious job that people are doing on the ground, trying to seek, safeguard each and every one of you, trying to protect you, trying to give you freedom. I want you to listen to this man, listen to him. You must listen to him right now so that you may know the risk that people are taking. If you are not praying before for us, you have to continue praying. If you are not supporting the movement, this is the right time for you to support. Now listen to him. Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening, people of the world, depending on your area of location. I am Oheto Boazie. I am a legal practitioner in Biafra land. I do cases for IPOB. And we are covered by legal immunity because we have case with Nigerian government pending in the courts in Nigeria. And based on that, I granted an interview to a Lagos-based national newspaper called The Wheel. In the interview, I exposed a lot of issues. And ever since then, the DSS has not allowed me to rest. They've been calling me to come and denounce the interview, cancel it if possible, Renounce it, claiming that it is not mine, so that they can clamp down on the editor and the newspaper that granted the said interview. And I am not ready to do that. He, in fact, went as a one Nuhu Muhammad of the DSS. Even went further to tell me that at the end of the exercise, they are going to give, reward me handsomely. I said, I can't do no, it's not possible. We are bear friends. I belong to Nandi Kano IPOB. We don't we don't receive right. I won't. Then I kept on playing on him, and the deadline he gave he, he gave me expired yesterday. I said I'm not coming to DSS office because I know I know very well if I go there, I will not come back alive. They will kill me. Because they said that I embarrassed the British government, I embarrassed the Nigerian government, I also embarrassed the governor of Imo State. Be because I spoke the truth. Yes, he said I insulted the British government. And I'm here to stand on my words. What I said are life. I'm not going to retract it. Yes, because I said the British government is one of the most irresponsible and the stupid government I've ever seen in my life. Because when they wanted to pull out of EU, nobody go ask them, nobody fought them, nobody stopped them. They took their decision and wanted to pull out of EU. And the EU conducted a referendum for them, which they won and pulled out peacefully. There was no war. But in our own case, for the past 50 years, the Biafrans have been struggling to pull out of Nigeria. And the Britain insisted we must remain in Nigeria. And even now, and the, the British High Commissioner 
Catherine Liang. Catherine Liang. After my interview, she has been moving all nooks and crannies of Nigeria. In fact, she relocated, her, transferred her office to Asorok and started running the affairs of Nigerian government. In fact, recently she has been moving the whole Biafra land, meeting with all our corrupt politicians and corrupt businessmen, trying to persuade them to frustrate Nandekano's efforts, trying to frustrate restoration of Biafra, that we must remain in Nigeria. And we are saying no. And uh, mind, you, the, 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 mind you that Britain, Britain, caused the First World War. Go back to history. Britain caused the First World War. And this Britain caused the Second World War. And this Britain wants to cause another Third World War in the Biafran case. And I'm appealing, crying to the world not to allow this. All democratic world should rise up. The conscience of the world should rise up against this evil that they want to perpetrate. Already, this uh, Catherine Lane, the British High Commissioner, she has met, uh, had a meeting with the Inspector General of Police, detailing them to kill all IPOB members, which they have carried out recently. If you go to the mortuary in a, a, a federal medical center, it's filled up with youths. Thousands of youths have been gone down by police and the military. Go to the mortuary at Aladema, filled up with corpses of young boys, young Igbo boys. The one at Ogongun, filled up with young Igbo boys, shot. And now, they are now carrying. When they shoot, they carry the corpses. When they shoot, they carry the corpses. And you talk, they kill you. Nobody wants to say anything. Nobody wants to say anything. And they keep on shooting, killing. Even night, if they meet you in the night, you are, you are gone. They meet you in a lonely place, you are gone. They meet you even in the market, but you see them shooting sporadically to intimidate, to cow us down, to drop the Biafran struggle. And we said no. Even as I'm giving this interview, don't be surprised they, they may get at me. I don't care because already I'm a dead man. I see myself as a dead man. And that is why I'm granting this interview. I am calling on the world. I am calling on the world. I am calling on the American government. Joe, led by Joe Biden to intervene in this case. I am calling on the, Ameri the Canadian government to intervene immediately. I am calling on the state of Israel, led by Netanyahu. I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew. Come in, come into this matter, intervene. Otherwise, there will be a repeat, a repeat of a, 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 a Rwanda case. We have a, a tribe rose up and annihilated another tribe. The Fulanese want to annihilate us. Honestly, I am calling on the, 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 the world to come in. And not only this. They also accused me that I insulted the, uh, the, the Sultan of uh, the, the Sokoto Caliphate. I didn't. Sokoto Osman Danfodio, Osman Danfodio was a stranger in Nigeria. He's not a Nigerian. I've been issue. He, he came from, from Mauritania and wandered into Nigeria, you know, with the Islam. Conquered Sokoto, Castina, and the, uh, 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 Kano. That's where his empire ended. And now they want to push it further. Where the recent government, the Kabal, the Sokoto Kabal, they now went and they brought in their brothers from uh, Mauritania, from Senegal, from Gambia, from... Niger, Chad, Burkina Faso, Central African Republic, to come and invade Nigeria. You have uh, Boko Haram, they are the same people. You have uh, the Bantis, the same people. You have uh, Fulani Hesmen, that the same people. They have armed all of them with AK-47 to shoot everybody, to kill the indigenous people. You can see what is happening in Benue State. They have eliminated almost all the youth in that place. Even in uh, Kogi State, the same thing. In the West, in Yoruba land, the same thing. And even here in Africa, they are now using the soldiers to deal with us. So that thereafter, the invaders will not come in and the conquest will be complete. We are calling on the world, the civilized world, the conscience of the world, to come and rescue Biafra. This battle is much. This battle is much. They have the backing of the Arabs. Backing them, giving them arms and giving them money. 
to destroy us. I am calling on the world to rise up. And mind you, I already, I am not going to see, to answer DSS. I will not. I will not, because if I do, I will be a dead person. So the world, don't allow them to kill me. My interview stands. And besides, the British government, they don't allow the British government to cause another third world war for the world. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. A gallant man, a fearless man, a gallant man that knows what truth stands for and the price for freedom. That is why when I see people like this, I watch a video like this. My faith, my belief for freedom will be rekindled with truth and honesty that whatever that comes out of it, we take it. Whatsoever that comes out of it, we take it. So many people are hiding right now. So many people are hiding. Some are hiding under, under their wife wrapper. And they are watching this program. They are listening. They say, ah, we're going to go fight. If Biafra come, all of us go, go and join. So many people, as I'm talking to you now, are leaving this country now, running away. There's a video I saw online where somebody was videoing what is happening in, on, uh, at the Motara Mohammed International Airport. Come and see crowd. People are running away. Come and see crowd. People are running away to different, different countries because they are having the feeling that there's going to be war. And all these people that are running away, when they run away, finish now. And maybe if, the, if, the, if there's no war, they will stay or come back. But if maybe by any chance there's war and they, they believe that when people die, finish, they will come back and come and begin to enjoy. You don't know that that place you are running to, you can even die there. They don't know. That that place you are going to Hello, enter bro. can even crash. Welcome to the program, my brother. Good evening. Thank you so much. Good evening, Mr. Valentin. Uh, my name is Kweke uh, Chiku. I'm calling you from Spain. Go ahead, Marzi. Uh, I'm greeting you for your good work you are doing for your prayer. And your update, you are doing very great, my brother. And uh, I would say I'm happy to see this, our great lawyer, our barrister. You know, uh, we have heard about him. For the first time, they want to assassinate him in Abuja. After after he worked hard to locate uh, our sister that uh, they kidnapped from uh, Obibo. When we take him now from Obibo, they took them from Abuja. Almost 33 of them and many boys. So our this our barrister did a very great job by locating them and fight hard for their release. After that many months in the in, in suffering that in prison. So since then they have been looking for the man to kill him. They assassinate uh, his mother and they assassinate his mother in the burial of the, uh, his mother. They went to, to assassinate him too. And thank God he escaped. And uh, I'm really happy for his head up. That's right, he's a hero. He, even the bottom we learned to speak the ways. Who we are, you know, it's who we are, and that say God do God protect him. He will not die, he will live to see Jaffa freedom. He will live to see Jaffa freedom. He will not die. And the uh, Jaffa uh, leadership must, after the leadership must do our best to make sure that uh, the life of this our body is safe. You know, we don't want him to move around anyhow. More because look at him at all means to kill him. But this is what they know how to do best. But we are going to fight, we are going to defend our land, we are going to defend ourselves. We are not going to let what happened in 1967 several people repeat itself again. I know they kill five million of us and they want to do it again. But we are not going to allow it this time around. We are going to defend our land, we are going to fight to protect our soul, protect ourselves. The the target the target and the first of this at home is a very great thing to us. The awareness is there, our people are now awake. All the all the apart is really out and awake. We are now awake, all of us are now awake. Both our our allies are to work. They are now awake. So Nigeria is falling. Nigeria is falling. The zoo is falling. The zoo is falling. Nothing we say this. Because the times have come and the hour have come for the light to shine against the darkness. 
the danger we will go back to Sahel, where they come from. They will never go to our land. I know so they have enjoyed the, 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 they have enjoyed the resources they give the for us. They have test the seed and don't want the seed to take away to their, to, from their mouth. But sure, we are going to take it away from to their mouth by force, by fire. So shall it be. My greetings to you and my greetings to the leadership for that. I feel this. May God bless Marvin and the Kano. May God bless ISOs all over the world. Our people on ground, we must be vigilant. I see those calling, complaining. Yes, you complain, but you find solution to your problem. Very, very important. Thank you so much, my brother. So that Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Before, but before you go, yeah, I, I am. But before you go, I am not yeah. one one hundred percent sure that this is the same lawyer whose mother was murdered. I think this is another one of the lawyers that is working for us. I'm not one hundred percent sure if he oh. is the one. So we have so many lawyers that is working for oh. us. They are after okay. this one because okay. of the interview. Okay. Oh. Because of the interview okay. he granted. That is why they're after him. So thank you so much for your contribution, my brother. And God bless you so much. We are here and we are soldiering on and we are not looking back. And before I go, I made a statement before. And why I'm broadcasting, I always read all the messages coming from the message uh, from the comment uh, uh, section. And somebody was saying that what I said about Mazen Nam Dekanu. Uh, paying money to bring some uh, Aosa people out of uh, the, out of DSS dungeon. That is not truth. As you show them the video, I read it, and the person is no longer talking. But I'm, because of that, I'm going to I'm going to do something right now. I am going to show you guys the video that I was referring to. I'm going to show it right now that the world may know that on this platform we know the lie. I had that to she, we don't lie on this platform. We don't lie on this platform. And uh, just hold on, I am coming. I think I am about to share the wrong one. I'm about to share the wrong one. Let me share the right one. Let me share the right one. Let me share the right one. And I want you to watch. Open your eyes and see Mazin Namdekano the Tokonadu leader of, of the whole Bia France worldwide. Listen to come, him. Come, 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 come closer. Then. All of you come. Yes, you come. Yes, you come. Come closer. Come, come, come. 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 Come, These people, these are children, children, and these are five years. For five years, for five years. That's what they're doing in this country. That's what they're doing in this country. Very terrible. Very terrible. Oh, oh, very Two thousand people, people locked, locked, locked down, down, there, down there without trial. And this and is, this not, is just not just any way, shape, or form. As what the one just said, what makes you human is a reason. reason. Here, people don't reason. Mm -hmm. Here, people don't reason. Mm -hmm. That's, That's why, why they're detained. Detain. Mm -hmm. They are children have been there for a very long time. Usman, Usman Abubakar's invitation. Usman Abubakar's invitation. Usman Abubakar's invitation. Usman Abubakar's invitation. Maktab Omar is in detention. Detention. DSS, 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 they don't want to bring them to court. The, the families are here. The families are here. Is there as well? I was with them. I was with them. Musa Kalamu is also there. Belit is also there. Says back to me. See another one. See another one. For five years, I've been in detention. Listen to it again. Come, 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 come. Listen to it again. They should come close, allow them to come. They should come close, allow them to come. Come, 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 and this is not and justice in any way, shape, or form. form. As Mary Wester said, said, one makes you human is against reason. reason. Here, people, people don't reason. reason. That's, That's why they're detained. They're children they're children they're 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 have been there for a very long time. Usman Abubakar is in detention. detention. Maktab Omar is in detention. And DSS, they don't want to bring them to court. The families are here. The families are here. is there as well. I was with them. Musa Kalamu is also there. Belit is also there. Says back to me. See and the rest of them. For five years. Yes, you can hear that live and direct. That is Mazen Namdekano, the Tokunadu leader, the man that is fighting for every 
community, every clan, every every every, every pastor in Nigeria. All of them. This is the man. If you're going to church, this is the man. We know you so much, my our dear leader. We know that you are a great man. You are a great man. You are a true freedom fighter. You are indeed a great, a great freedom fighter. And you are fighting for everybody. And today the Aosa people have realized that Mazen Namdekan is fighting for everybody. For those of them that doesn't believe that Mazen Namdekan spent money to charter a lawyer, to hire a lawyer that brought all these people he mentioned their names out of the dungeon of the DSS. You will not believe it, but he did it. He indeed did that. How many Aosa people or Fulani people can do that for an Igbo man? Nobody. Only Mazen Namdekan can do it. I just show you. At the court, he let the whole world to know because after that, immediately he called lawyer and paid the lawyer. The lawyer began to have their case and they released them. That means in this country, if you don't have anybody that can speak for you, you are gone. Is this a country? No judgment, no equal right and justice. Once your brother is in the army or in the police or in DSS, you raise your shoulder, you can kill somebody and you will not go to jail. Nothing will happen. Here. Here, nothing will happen. In United Arab Emirates, go and check the history. The former president of United Arab Emirates, Cheikh, uh, 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 Cheikh Al Maktoum, is it no? Is it Cheikh Zaid? Sorry, Cheikh Zaid. Cheikh Zaid, the former president, his son contravened the law. He drank and he was driving, and the police arrested him, and the father came and sent him to the prison. He was put in the prison. He was serving in the prison. Yes. And Cheikh Zaid, every morning Cheikh Zaid will go and serve him food. We take food and go in the open prison with him. They will eat. The history is there. You can go there and read it for yourself. The president said that as long as you have contravened the law, you will serve the, the, the sentence. If it is one month, if it is two months, if it is three months, if it is six months, that month that other person that contravened the same law will, will serve, that is what my son will serve. And the son served those his, his jail term. A president of a country. Can that happen in this stupid dungeon you call, you, 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 you call Africa? Can it happen? It cannot happen. Anybody who is sending any nonsense link here to scam people or to do anything against my people, I will block you. I'll be blocking so many of you. That is why I made a mistake to block someone I'm not supposed to block. All of you that are sending all this rubbish here. And I'm warning you, dear friends, please, on the comment section, do not click on any link. Anybody that is dropping any, any link here, do not click on it. Excuse me. Unless you want to lose your account. I am blocking so many of them. So this happened in United Arab Emirates. The president of the country, it is in the history. I was, I was in the country. I read about it. That the son, he was drunk and he was driving. And he had an accident. They called him, they put him in the prison. The father was going there every morning, every evening, every morning, every evening, until the son finished his jail term. A president, Kadena Gwon, how many of your president of your no, not even local government chairman can their son do such a thing or even kill somebody and, and sleep in the, in the prison? It doesn't happen. That is why we are fighting to create a nation that is going to give sense of, of, of reasoning to, to, human, to humanity. People will be we, we, we will be behaving like animals here. But when Biafra comes, you are going to behave like human beings. Because the law, you must obey it. If you don't obey the law, you go to jail. That is why we are fighting for Biafra to be restored. And the white men, they know that if Biafra comes, the whole Africa is going to be liberated. That is why they are fighting those who are fighting this struggle. And I want to, I've been, I've been sounding this as a warning, and I want to repeat it once again this night. I used to see people who, are sending some messages saying, hey, Mazen Nam Dekano, you should be very, very careful. Uh, uh, they, 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 they call him for anything. They should not listen. You should not listen to them. Blah, 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 blah. They see him. Uh, they want to kill him. They want to assassinate him. Nobody can assassinate Mazen Nam Dekano. Mazen Nam Dekano represents 120 million Biafrans. 
And I want the world, the world to know that if anything happened to this man, the Second World War and the First World War put together is a child's play. Can I go know? If anything happened to this man, because millions of people now, their future, their hope, and everything about them is about is on this man. So if you tamper with him, you are tampering with these people that we are talking about here. There are, there are monsters that are still waiting. There are lions. There are jackals. There are tigers that are still waiting somewhere. They are waiting for Mazenandikan to blow a whistle. And if anything happened to Mazen and Kano, these kind of people, nobody can hold them. These wild animals, nobody can hold them. In case you don't know, the reason why there is still peace and the semblance of uh, understanding and the things is still doing as if it's working is because this man is still alive. If you people had killed this man, if you people had, if you people had, had, had succeeded on that operation, Python Dance too, to kill this man, by now, by now, all of you, both the governor, or both the minister, or both the Malahaji, or if you everybody would be dead by now. You don't know. Even the dead, the they will come out of their, their graves to come and fight. Every, every, every living thing will perish. In case you don't know. I'm telling, I'm signing it as a warning because I know the international community is watching. United Kingdom, they are watching. European Union, you are watching. Africa, all of you are watching this program. I'm letting you guys to know, Ibnam the Kano is representing the life of 120 million people. The hope, the future, the everything about this 120 million people I'm talking about now is is on in Mazenan Kano. So just touch him. If you touch him. You have touched this. You you will see mad people will come out. You will see you will see dead people will rise from dead. And the, uh, in fact, the whole Africa, the whole world will not contain because IPOB is all over all over the world. We are in over one hundred twenty countries. The war is going to escalate and touch every nook and cranny of this planet Earth. I am telling you, believe it or leave it. So the people who are all, 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 only seeing that the Muslim and the and they plan and kill him and that those their prophecies is not going to work. See a good prophecy in Muslim and can forget about they are going to kill him. We know that nobody can tamper with Muslim and can, but because if they do, the third world war, first and second world war put together is a child's play to what you are going to witness. Don't say I did not tell you. Only Koso was killed. Look at him who state how it is now. Men are bringing out their life, dying, because they believe that this man was fighting to defend them. I don't want to talk too much. And I want you all that listen to us this evening to share this program. Because on this platform, I see the heart. Now, so me and the talk up. My own brother, Ikonso, was murdered. They killed him. And Ikonso was fighting to defend Biafra land. Then the enemies, the Fulani has men, brought their own army, their own police. They went after a consul and they killed the consul. And today, the people of Imo State from Okigwe are crying that the Fulani has men have come to take over their land. That they are killing people. That is what's happening now. Because the Iroko tree that is shielding them, the Iroko tree that was fighting for them, why they are asleep is gone. That is it. And on that note, I'm going to bring this program to an end. And my brother, my consul, I will mourn you forever. I will remember you forever. You're a current hero. You're a current soldier. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I will keep loving you until we meet to part no more. Yes, we must continue. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters, for watching and listening to this program. Share it as it is hot. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as it is hot Biafra TV on YouTube. 
and we have a new platform that we just set up right now as the Hot Biafra TV reporter. Look for it and like the page and follow us there. Because in the Amen who here, we go there. That is it. The country. The center cannot can never cannot hold anymore. Things has fallen apart. The sound of secession is the, the, the drum of secession is being beaten everywhere, all over the all over the country. And their so-called president, only God knows who is there, is telling the world that they are going to teach Igbo. I know it's additional that is that is typing that rubbish. It's additional. They are going to teach the Igbos the language they understand. And the, and, the, and the Twitter deleted it. Yes, that is to tell you that when you, are, when you are threatening people with the handle of a presidency, do you know what it means? And your people are there killing everybody in the north and you are not doing anything to them. But people who are only asking for referendum, you are, you are shooting them and killing them. And even threatening them on, for the whole world to see. These people don't go to school. They don't, they don't have common brain. Only if a hammer. Let me remember my, 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 my let me play this song for my brother and my only has got talent brother. exclusive. So, 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 Happy you he goes, he goes, so he's a white hero. He goes, so he's a resident of the paradise. You fought like a soldier, and you died like a soldier. You never betrayed our motherland. Your legacy lives on. You are a gallant soldier, a famous soldier, a novelle soldier. My brother, you will live on. He goes, so you will live on. Yes, there is a breaking news again that I'm bringing to you. The one I brought to you before was that Abba, they are moving from street to street in Abba, arresting people right now. In um, right now, something is going on. There's serious gunshot going on in Ukwache in Ishiake this night, and the people are scavenging for their life, they are running away. Nobody knows who is behind the shooting. Maybe the army is shooting. I don't know, we do not know because they always shoot their gun when they come to arrest somebody at Ukwache in Ishiake. Ishiake, that this is happening right now. In Imus, in a Boeing state, sorry, in a Boeing state, it's happening in a Boeing state. If you are from that community, please make a call, call your family, call your brothers and sisters from that angle, that from that as it to know exactly what is happening. Serious gunshot is going on at Ukwachi Ishieke in a Boeing state right now. As we are speaking, as I'm speaking, it's happening right now, immediately. It is happening right now. And all these idiots that are posting nonsense here, the more, once you are posting it, as long as I see it, I'll block you. When I block you, you can come back with another uh, account. I will still block you. To block you is not my problem. And it doesn't stop me from talking. I have blocked so many of you posting all those rubbish that you're posting here. This place is not a place to joke. Like I said before, this uh, is a breaking news. Like I told you, if you're watching this program, you will always be getting updates about what is happening. And they say at the... Uh, uh, there is a serious gunshot going on there right now. So people within that as it should confirm if their family are safe. I bless each and every one of you that are watching. I love you all and I say tomorrow is another beautiful day. Let me finish this song because it also is my own blood, my own brother and I love him so much. <laughs> on
the man to die in the world. It is the way you die. It is the way you make it. The sudden death is unbearable. You just have to say goodbye, my hero. Ebony don't let you be gas in the top You left us, but you leave us. Oh, no, no, Bobo. Ante Kuala Biafra. Ndindi Chiriji. Ala Juroi. you no you will be no you you Koso, your death will be remembered. Because you are evil. As your friends you, the whole world wants you to. You truly pays my heart that you are no more. You are evil. Aye, aye, aye. The shock can never go out from my heart like a Continue fighting. You are the Lord. Come on, the The sacrifices will never be forgotten. The real dead will be next to And the culture will be avenged without apologies to any idiot wherever in the world. And the work is ongoing to that effect. And we're not going to stop until the heads are complete. 2,000 of them. Thank you very, 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 very God much. Talented. I remain your brother, Mazok Balese Chukubikim. I could have been here for a long time. I said, I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. But I hope pay good night from here. I remain your brother. Mazio Balese, Chukubikim, Neu.